anytime somebody just made some eye contact with me outside, anything, I was just decomposed and just, and next thing you know, I'm just in my room watching Triple X. So then my instinct was just to be getting to my room and get some privacy and watch some Triple X. Like that was my, um, that, that was my whole, um, that was just my, my, um, my coordinates. My XY coordinates get back into my room and watch some triple X. Like as soon as somebody's pushed a little bit of intimacy as even as a little thought or idea, I'll just <sighs> next thing you know, I'm in my room outside in the middle of everywhere, just watching triple X, right? Just decompose. So then of course I feel uncomfortable. I'm outside in the middle of everybody in the middle of the street watching triple X in my room, right? So I would have to try to rush home and do it for real. You know, because I felt that way. You know, I felt like I had to rush home and watch Triple X to compensate for the embarrassment of being outside just on my laptop or internet just watching Triple X in the middle of the street. What will you do? Sir? What will you do? It's already over. You've already been exposed to watching Triple X like a fiend or something. So you're outside feeling weird, you know. Now, I look at people outside or whatever, I could go home and watch cartoons all day. I could watch um, TV all day, movies all day. These are my options. It's like football. You ever played football where you play offense and defense? You got different plays and stuff? That's how it was like. I got different plays now. I could, I could, I could go home and just do anything else. 50 different plays. I could go home and do 50 different plays, you know? Offense, defense, nickel, dime, you know? All that shotgun plays. I could do all that stuff when I come home. And that's just a variety of being down with no P, you know. You actually have more things to do when you get home other than just rushing home. You take your time, you know, and, and you could you could you could really have a full, real, authentic day instead of having the same predictable food. You know, I know some people call sex food a, 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 a you know, you know, meals or something like that. That's what it's like. They call sex meals. They call sex food. That's what it's like. It's like uh, coming home to a meal. You know, you get served slop every day when you come home watching Triple X. That's what you get. That's what you get when you're outside and, you know, you have a thought. Maybe you're at work and you have a thought like, you know, middle of the day. That's what you get served when you get home. You get served slop. Okay, let me go home, you know, watch my Triple X. You're getting served slop that day. You know? So, it's up to you, man. You could, you could go home every day just because you had a thought. Or because somebody pushed a little intimacy on you and, 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 and you move back away from it, you could get served slop.